Hello everyone, welcome to Cube Community. This is an SMP ran by a good friend of mine, Larry Ella, and a few of her admins. Uh, this is a Minecraft 1.12 SMP that I will be doing a series on. As you can see, we've already been working on a lot of stuff. The server's been up for about a week. Uh, I wasn't able to make any videos because I uh, was on vacation. Again, for probably the second time this year. I haven't done too much traveling. Anyway, I wanted to go ahead and take my armor off so you guys can see what I'm looking at right now. But this is my current setup. Which is weird because the staircase I'll get into a little bit. But uh, it's going to be what we're working on for the next few episodes. These are my furnace. Oh, they still have bricks in them when I was doing the Joe's prank. Uh, a lot of people that... Our frequent UEC that I team with are in this. As you can see, my color is blue. Uh, just because we're on teams to try and get to know each other. Uh, I am on Diamond. Uh, some faces you may know from UEC. Sid is on. Flues is here. Uh, we have Joe. We have Lord. Lariella, obviously. I think there might be some more. Let me check the Discord. But I believe that's it. Now, as far as Diamond goes, I am on Diamond with uh, Larry Ella's, uh With a person that Larry Ella knows. Uh, Mus. And then three other people I actually don't know. And then Larry Ella, obviously. But uh, I was originally on Iron because they're the, uh, they're the resources of Minecraft. I was originally on Iron and then I got switched over, which was fine. Because uh, on Iron, it was like me, Lord, and a few other people. But I mostly knew Lord. So it's like, yeah, switch. Which, I didn't mind at all. That's fine. Anyway, so what's going on here and what's with my resource pack? First of all, get to the resource pack because you've seen all the textures. These are thanks to B00. B00 actually has a 1.11 resource pack that works in 1.12. And that's the one I'm using. It has a lot of uh, random textures that just make the game a lot look, look a lot better. And make some of the textures like this is normally just standard diorite, but the random textures makes it really cool, really nice to look at. Especially like I have cactus in my hot bar. My iron armor is different. It's it's welcome change. I thought I'd use it for this series, at least for the first few episodes. Anyway, let's get to this. So. We're playing in 1.12. 1.12 is the color update. Now, I want to make a bunch of farms that help get help make the dyes a little bit easier to to manage. Uh, a lot of dyes are actually easy to farm. Uh, cacti is pretty easy to farm. Then there's ink sacks with the squids. Uh, a lot of them come from flowers, which you have to find the flower forest. Ooh, sorry about that. I actually just got done eating, so I have some small hiccups. But, uh, today we're going to be working on the cactus farm, and this is the design I'm going to go for. Now, I'm actually going to widen it out a little bit more, because, uh, I need to get more concrete. Uh, because the way I want the design to work is I want the cacti to be floating above. Like here, I can actually probably go ahead and make a beta design of it. Uh, this may not mirror the final product. I actually don't have sand because I used it all for glass. Okay, well, we won't work on that. <laughs> I'll have to show the beta design when I finish filling this out. But these torches right here are actually how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to have water coming down the staircase, and then these two will mean that there's not going to be any cacti above, like, above here. Uh, the cacti is going to be floating above, so like a few blocks above here, the cacti will be floating above and will fall onto the uh, water, where we'll get dragged down into some hoppers that will go into a chest. Uh, I wanted something that... You know, looks a bit different than just a standard, like, floating box of cacti. So, I felt like this was probably a good idea to go with. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and widen this out to about the range I want to widen it out. Gonna go ahead and get some sand as well. And I will meet back with you guys when we've uh, done all that. So, I'll be back. 
And we're back. So this is going to be... Damn it. <laughs> this is going to be... <laughs> I knew that would happen. Joe's here. So I knew this... Uh, it would fall down there. So this is how... Hold on. <laughs> Restart. And we're back. So as you can see, this is how the cactus farm is going to be laid out. Uh, I am going to be uh, setting these up probably starting here, maybe? I think I should start from the bottom and head to the top. But I think they're going to be about four to five blocks up. Let me actually see if I can start building one here. I may need more sand. As you can see, I did have to fill in some of these with uh, concrete powder. This is just the uh, barriers where the water is going to go. Uh... Water is going to touch this and going to turn it into uh, concrete, solid concrete. And that way I don't have to worry about, you know, building long towers to get standard concrete for it. But either way, <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Joe. <laughs> I'm keeping this in. So I think, I think I'll start here maybe I wanted to go two blocks out so that I at least have some room because I did try this in a single player world the only issue with this was that uh, cacti would fall onto the sides and not get collected in the water so I want to make sure to not have that and the damn it and the way this is going to work is that I'm going to have a wall of glass. I'll, I'll show you guys in just a moment. I'm just finishing up. Did it again. There we go. Okay, so this is how the cacti is going to be laid out. There's probably going to be... Hmm, I don't know how high I want to make each one above the rest. Because then what we'll have is we'll have... Not... That dirt won't stay. Is we'll have a wall of stained glass going like this. I probably should have made this out of uh, light blue so that it stand out a bit. I might actually change that. But uh, this is going to be how it's basically laid out. And then the cacti will go on these sand and fall into the water when they grow. And this is just to stop them from growing up too high. Uh, that's about it. Uh, the reason I don't want these too high is that I'm afraid that uh, higher ones will fall onto these. I'll have to check and see how I have it in the creative world. Because I know in the creative world, I have that issue fixed. But I'm not sure what caused the issue in the first place. Either way, going to get this sorted out. I'm going to go ahead and sleep for Joe. And I'll meet back in just a moment. I think to kind of get away from the monotony of working on the cactus farm, I think I'll go ahead and explore spawn a little bit. So this is our spawn that we have currently. See, we have a jungle really close by, which is nice. Uh, jungles are usually really hard to get in, in survival, so it's good to see that we have one close by. Uh, this is our marketplace we're going to have for a spawn. As you can see, I've already claimed one for my own, which I will make later. This is our community farm that we have going on right now. I believe Flues made this like first day or something. I don't remember. Uh, portal. We have our enchant station for level 30s. Uh, we've already gone to the nether. Got nether wart. Uh, let me see what else we have. I made this day one as well. Just as a simple bed house in case people can't sleep. Uh, just a few beds in here. Which is good. Uh, you know, just to start out in case people needed to sleep and didn't want to kill the many sheep we have around here. Up there is Muss's place. I believe his name is, uh, Mustalog. Yeah, Mustalog. That's his place. Uh, right up there. It looks really nice. Uh, I have Optify, by the way. So, zoom. Wee. I don't know what the staircase is. I know... Oh, wait, no. I, I saw this. I think another person is building in this cave. Let me go look. Why is this... <laughs> this tree is right there. 
That's weird. Yeah, Uncle Blaze is building there as well, which is nice. Uh, I believe should have shown his off over here, but Joe has actually built a spawn house as well. I will eventually build up myself a spawn house. Uh, kind of similar to Muss's. I, I have an idea. It's going to go for more of a uh, log base, but we'll get into that in another episode. See, so, yeah, this is Joe's place, and this is my door uh, that I have claimed. Uh, <laughs> I put a prank on Joe. He streamed uh, finding four of these around his base, and uh, then he re he put a sign on one of my furnaces over there to say his furnace. So I went and uh, claimed a few of his things. I claimed this bed. I claimed this parrot. I didn't want to rename it because I don't want to be like a dick. But there's that. And then closed staircase, which is not a staircase, but a ladder. Should call it a ladder case, whatever. Uh, these are all my chests. Everything in here is uh, mine. These are my chests. I uh, can throw out all this, you know, mob jobs, miscellaneous items. I can throw all that out because I don't want to keep the chests. The chests are mine. Uh, there's another cactus right in there. I was pretty clever with that. I feel like... I feel like he wouldn't have noticed it had he not known there were a few in here. Uh, there was one actually down in here that I thought was pretty clever as well. I had fun putting this around. Uh, th this is my carrot. This is my wheat. This is my potato. My beetroot. And then if we go down here, here's my ladder. See, I actually call this one a ladder for once. I was going to rename all these, but I, just, I don't have the levels. I'm out of levels right now. But I did rename the melon. See, this is my melon. My melon block. You can't tell me otherwise. Which is nice. Really, really nice. Anyway. Uh, after we've shown this off and claiming a few of Joe's things, I think I also... I didn't put anything down there. I don't have any signs on me. Damn, or a surfboard. Oh, well. Works for me. Joe is, by the way, on gold team. So, he is uh, on Fluz's team, I believe. And a few other people's. But that's about it. Uh, next cut, I'm going to show off the cactus farm. And show off of what I have going on for there. By the way, I don't know who this is. But they're using my same built palette, which is kind of weird. Oh, well. I'll be back. Just putting on the final touches, and there we go. This is the basis of the farm right here, actually. Uh, damn it, <laughs> I had to break that glass. Uh, so, let me just go on ahead and head up here. And I'm going to start filling in all the cacti. Which I fucked up. <laughs> so, for those who don't know how... <laughs> cacti has to work can't place it if there's a block in front of it which is stopping me from placing this I'm clicking all I can I can place this one just fine because I broke the glass which means I have to break all this glass and move it up one. Oh boy I'll be back so I'm back I have switched out the glass for white blue stained glass which actually looks a lot better it's a shame I did the same fucking thing again <sighs> you think I would be able to do this because I had this planned out originally I haven't even gotten to the part with the water yet because I keep fucking up the glass ah! all right <laughs> we're back I finally fixed the glass there's actually one missing at the end right there that I'll fix in a moment but I want to go ahead and show this this was where I started farming cacti. Uh, let me actually just go ahead and do this. Ow. Ow. This is a lot easier to manage than just having to go you know, break them all. Uh, by the way, for those that don't watch any of my UHC stuff, I don't have good internet. So I my latency is pretty pretty bad. Uh, which is fine. I, I'm okay with it. Uh, this is not going to be permanent, thankfully. But as you can see, I already have a stack of cacti, which is really, really nice. I just need to clean all of these out because I needed extra sand. Because I'm a moron. 
and uh, cooked all my sand out of glass again. So I need 20 sand. I'm not one barring. It's 20 sand I need. There we go. Finally. Okay, Enrit. You can do this. Come on. I believe. Okay. Do not see anything. All right. That's fine. What we'll do... Why do I need sand? I've already placed it. I am a... I should not be recording today because I'm an idiot. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and place all the cacti here. Uh, I am going to hop onto the stained glass so I can just do this. As you see, this is how it's supposed to work. Thankfully. I was about to say, thankfully I'm not an idiot. But, you know. After recent events, it's hard to think otherwise. I'm also going to place torches here. I don't know if torches can stop cacti. I also don't want to find... Oh, why not? Okay, torches don't stop cacti, so we'll just move it down one then. And yeah, we'll do this. I have to go make more torches anyway. Because I think I need 20 torches for each one of these. I was hoping. Oh, well, I'm down here now. So we'll do this. All right. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the water, the pool of water up there. My only concern is that the animals that are running around here will probably get into the water. Which is not a big deal. I think I might just place like walls or uh, fences around just so they can't get into it. But if they get into it, it's not a big issue. But this is how it's going to look. Minus the dirt tower back there. Uh, let me go ahead and get my water bucket. Should be in one of those chests. Let me heal off my damage. I don't have feather falling or anything, so I'm just gonna have the roll of the punches for this one. Let's go ahead and pull these up because I don't need it anymore. And then what we'll do, I do have to get another water source, which is not a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and place all these torches. Uh, let's see. We'll do one because they don't have to be on each one they can just be on the separate ones and then we'll have Where the fuck? <laughs> keep doing that uh, accidentally going down into that pit which by the way I need to go ahead and put hoppers in there I think I have enough hoppers to uh, fill that up I also want to place more uh concrete down there so we'll go ahead and do that real quick I don't know why I'm breaking with my hand I have a shovel this uh these torches by the way are not gonna last because water is gonna be falling down which is fine not a big deal and then what we'll do is we'll just pour water down here that will turn almost all these into concrete more water source should do it. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll have a double chest right here. Going to just make this. We'll drop off. I don't know. I don't want them inset. So I think what we'll do is we'll have them. Uh, there we go. We'll have the chest and the poppers go across. I just need enough room for the uh, the water to fall down. So it can fall down a hole and have somewhere to level off into. So let me go ahead and make the chest real quick. Excuse me. Excuse me. What do you think you're doing? Why are you in full iron? Very rarely do I see mobs in... That's enchanted iron too. What? How? There is... I'll go ahead and talk about this. When I... The, the hell do you think you're going? <laughs> when I used to play a lot and have like a lot of uh, spotters and stuff. A lot of single player. 
I I would have I don't know if anyone else has experienced this, but has anyone else had like diamond armor zombies and like mob spawning? That was always like kind of a quirky time. And I don't know if it ever happens anymore. I'm just sleepy so I don't have to deal with mobs. Speak of the devil. Or speak of a zombie. I really don't want him touching me. Which with my latency, he's going to actually hit me before I hit him. Which is not something I want to experience. Wait, you're supposed to be burning. Why aren't you burning? Let's see, you're supposed to be burning. And now there's an enderman around here. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Now that the uh, English. Now that we have that out of the way, can do this. Create two chests. We'll go here. I didn't get the concrete, so let's grab it real quick. I think it's in this top one. It's not. It's in the bottom one. I need to do a uh, sorting system, by the way, which I'll work on the another time. Not today. There we go. Okay. So then we have the hoppers that filter in right here. You probably already noticed it, but the water is going to filter out there. What I'm going to do to remedy that is just uh, not stone walls. I was, I was going to do stone walls, but before I do that, I do have to make two more hoppers. So I'm going to make that real quick. I could use the recipe book, but I'm not going to. Just because I like using the patterns more. I'll probably use them when I for items I don't know how to build, like the observers. Which I'm not going to deal with right now. Maybe another time. Not right now, though. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and make a fence. Okay, perfect. And this is just going to block off the water so it doesn't filter or doesn't fall on the chest. See, I can still open up the chest just fine. And that should be it for the work we have to do here. Let me just go ahead and get this cleaned up real quick. Uh, I was about to say I put my shovel up again, but nope, I did not. It's only unbreaking one, by the way. Also, my pick has fortune on it. I enchanted, I think, 15 levels on it. Did a 15 level enchant and got fortune one, which is nice. I had to uh, put efficiency on it by myself, but you know, it worked for the better. Come on, thank you. All right, so we'll go ahead and pour that water right there. I do need another water source. Let's go run to this lake right over here. But as you can see, everything seems to be running fine. Ow. A little bit delayed there. By the way, Joe is streaming. Joe streams on Cube Community. Uh, also uploads separate videos. So if you guys want to check him out, you're more than welcome to. But let's go ahead and get this straightened out. As you can see, it does not overflow. So I did do it just right. Oh, you make this infinite. And that's not how you make it infinite. Um... We will remedy that by doing this. Come on now. Thank you. Come on. The pig down there. Oh, right there. God. Right there. And then right there. All right, and then we will break the dirt. And there we go. That is the gist of it. Now, as you can see with the dirt, this is how the cacti are gonna fall down and they're gonna fall down into the chest, get sorted out. And that's it, that's the farm. Uh, things do take a little bit of time to work. I kind of wish one would work during the recording. 
but uh, it's really hard to tell. They do take a while to actually uh, drop one, which is fine. I do have a pretty good stack of cacti. But uh, the reason why I also wanted to go ahead and get this done in the first episode was because on the next episode, we'll be working on our base, which is actually going to be over here. And I wanted cyan and uh, light blue to be our color palette uh, for the place. And also spruce wood. I like spruce wood a lot. So we'll use that as our color palette as well. But I think that's going to be it for this time. I do apologize for the uh, mess ups I had for this episode. But that was fine. Everything worked out in the end. And that's about it. If you guys want to check me out, I do live stream. Uh, I don't live stream actually Joe live streams I do have a Twitter page if you guys want to check that out you're more than welcome to it's at quillj1 and I do stream I probably won't get back into streaming once my internet gets a little bit better that's about it thank you guys so much for watching have a good day bye bye